It's a field trip of a lifetime for students. The nonprofit Close Up Foundation hosts high school students from around the country for hands-on programs in Washington, D.C. It's to inspire them to learn and participate in government. Saturday, 250 students and teachers arrived in D.C. for their week-long conference. But on Sunday, 17 to 18 local students got sick with a gastrointestinal bug. The symptoms are like the very common norovirus. It causes typically vomiting, nausea, diarrhea, belly pain, sometimes even low-grade fever and headaches. And so that diarrhea and excessive, nausea, excessive vomiting could result in dehydration. LSU Health Dr. Fred Lopez is an infectious disease expert and is not in contact with any of the students in D.C. Close Up confirms the students are all from Ursuline Academy and one is from Brother Martin. Ursuline confirms that the six students are all juniors. Brother Martin said it does not discuss medical information of any of its students. The students have been isolated in separate hotel rooms because if it's norovirus, that is highly contagious. Being in close uh, contact with somebody who's sick, sharing utensils can be uh, from contaminated surfaces that you touch that are fecally contaminated and then you put it to your mouth, not be from contaminated food or water. The students are being treated by Georgetown Pediatrics. It's best to let it run its course and avoid dehydration with drinks like Pedialyte. Some could need IV fluids at the hospital. Thorough hand washing can help lower your risk. There's really no antiviral medication to treat this. You have to keep up with your fluids, uh, stay away from other people. Now, this is important. No students at those two schools in the New Orleans area have the stomach virus, so there's no need for concern or decontaminating either of those schools. It's all in D.C. And Ursuline tells us that parents of six students have been contacted. Now, the norovirus time can live on services for two weeks. That's why hand washing is so important. Uh, hand sanitizers don't kill it, and neither does freezing the food. So people, uh, uh, food workers who are sick, don't go to work. All right, you feel for those students right now. Yeah. All right, thank you, Meg.